Christmas. It's been a minute. Been busy trying to get everything caught up. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of different projects we got going on. Uh, we had to send that crank off. It has not got back yet. We tried to get them to speed up on it, but they're busy just as well as we are, so we can't push them too much. We want it done right. So we're waiting on it. Hopefully it'll be there tomorrow. I uh, did some fuel pump updates, a few overheads, just to have something to do. Did some electrical work today. Just a little odd and end stuff until that comes in so I can get started on it. But I got something to say. Guys, listen. Times right now are hard everywhere. Don't give up. If you're on or off, don't feel like you don't have nothing. Don't feel like you're about to lose everything. So I'm telling you, where there's a will, there's a way. That's always been my motto. Uh, I wanted plenty of things. But if it's meant to be, it's always fell into place. That's what y'all need to know. If something is supposed to happen, it'll fall into place. You're not going to have to work hard for it. Everybody's, you know, says, well, I want this or I want this. But it's so hard to get it. Well, guess what? I, no matter how bad you want it, it's not meant for you to have it. There have been plenty of things that I wanted, I would have loved to have. But it wasn't meant for me to have it. So you let it go. Whenever I was looking for trucks, I really wasn't looking hard. I knew what I wanted. I wanted something as good as what I had. But, at first I was like, man, the first trucks that I seen, I was like, man, I want this truck. Man, I want this truck. Then I come across the one I got now, and literally everything fell into place. Georgia Boot Trucks did me right. Uh, they actually delivered the truck to me. So I thought that was really cool. I didn't have to go down there. We did all the paperwork at our shop. They took my truck. They left me with my new truck. It was smooth. So if anybody's out there looking for a good dealership, uh, shout out to them. Uh, it's actually a Mitsubishi dealership. But you can look them up on Instagram under Georgia Big Trucks. They have a lot of different trucks out there that are really nice. And they make sure that they keep up with their trucks. Like when I bought mine, it had brand new tires, brand new rims. I mean, it just, it was good. I knew whenever I got in, I wouldn't have nothing to worry about. Uh, I got a charge air leak in it, but I'll get it fixed. This time. Time, time, time. We run low, we run low on time, all the time. So it's hard, but sometimes you gotta make time for things, especially your family. Family's always first. You don't have family, you don't have nothing. And that's that's how I live, my family. Family's always first. So then that's, that's the only thing that keeps me where I'm at. It's because my family is everything to me. So I'm a very big family person. If my family wants to do something, I'm gonna drop whatever it is and go do it for my family. This week's been kind of hectic, but you know what? It's halfway through the week. We're gonna push through it. We're gonna set some goals. We just, we got a lot of big jobs, guys. I mean a lot, and I wanna thank every single one of y'all out there that has helped us get where we are now. We need more help, but right now we're making it work. It's hard. It's really hard, uh, especially with all these big jobs we got. Got a little black on my face. Been busy today, but we'll get over this hump. We'll find people. We always do, and. We'll just have to teach them and bring them up with us. And once they're up with us, y'all just don't even know. Um, I'm hoping that y'all can hear me a little bit better. I know my 
truck's loud, but sorry, I love it. Uh, I'm gonna try my best, y'all. I'm trying, I'm really trying to make more videos, but it's so hard because once I get a job, I just want to go ahead and get it and get it done and get, move on to the next. So, taking the videos is a little bit of time, and like right now, we're so busy, I don't have time to make them as bad as I want to to help y'all out. There's not enough time in the day. So I've been doing little clips here and there. But it's going to get better. I'm going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. All of our guys are we're teaching them new stuff. So it kind of takes a load off of me. But I cannot do it without any of our people that we have at our shop. I have, I've said it time and time before. They're just as good as me. I can't work on everything. I'm there. They need help. They call me. If I need help, I call them. We all work together. And just about every truck, everybody's touched it. Whether it be hooking a computer up or tightening a clamp for somebody, helping somebody put a filter on. We're always there. So to me, I would rather have everybody on my team that I have now than anybody else especially somebody that just is for their self they don't want to teach anybody or they think that they know everything because let me tell you something I don't even know everything there's things that I'm still learning so nobody knows everything now my dad is pretty smart and he knows a lot so luckily for me I can go to my dad and ask him just about anything and he's going to have the right answer so, you just, you never know, guys. You never know. It's hard sometimes because my dad's so busy that he can't just help me with everything. He'll just say, figure it out. I ran into the issue. Um, I think it was Tuesday. Choked out with my butt. But I ended up pulling through and I figured it out. I had a J1939 data link issue. Uh, for the turbo it was losing communication I owned it out ended up being a bad sensor in the emission side I ended up finding it but it, it was hard so uh, it ended up being the terminal resistor which it worked and it was reading but whenever everything was plugged up it wasn't so we had to put a new resistor in it but you guys it's that is something simple it took me a good minute because everything was reading right and I was just I was down to myself I was getting frustrated I went to my dad and he was like look I'm busy right now I know you'll figure it out but I'm like man I done had so, I got a few hours in this truck and I ain't got nowhere so I go and I take a little breather and go back to it and when I go back to it I figured it out so if you ever run into something and it's getting you aggravated, just take a break. Just walk away from it. Move on to something else and go back to it. Because when you're fed up and you just can't figure nothing out, you often just, you're so frustrated that you won't figure it out. So take a break, come back to it, you'll figure it out. Next week, it's going to be another big week. But we're going to get it all figured out. Until then, thank y'all again for everything. I literally, we could not have done it without y'all. Justin, Sammy, everybody who's helped us get where we are now. Thank y'all. Alright, I ain't made a video in a while. I'm going to add all this stuff in together for one. Um, guys, whenever you get your oil changed... See a little dot, a little puddle right there in the floor? It's because this filter is not tight. This could turn into something very, very, very ugly. So y'all need to check your uh, filters. I'm going to set this right here. All right, sorry about that. We uh, had to go over there and check this pressure washer, or parts washer out. 
I see this all these, every, like a lot of these trucks, I see it on. Luckily, there's a good filter, but uh, make sure y'all check these. If you see them leaking, you need to pull over somewhere and uh, tighten them up. Y'all can get one of these uh, on a tool truck. There's a number right there. And that's all you need. Trying to find a part number on here for y'all. I think you can just look it up by that number right there. Oop. Alright, so fuel pump update. First thing I need, break this on loose. I gotta check everything loose so I can hold the camera and show y'all. KST bolts loose right here. Take yeah. fuel on. Okay. Alright, so pull this line out and get it out of your way. There's not in the hole because it'll pick it up. Take this loose. It's a 17 millimeter. This is a 7 8 and bolts are there. And on the other side, they have 13. This is a 10. Take that loose and the clamps loose. I put all the bolts back in it so I don't lose them. Go ahead and get new washers for the bolts. Oh, this one's a shot. Alex, you got a copy? There's one down here, it's a 19. If it's got a, this little nipple on the top, it's got a filter in it right there. Now these washers are just gone. But you want to look in there and make sure the filter's not collapsed. Like I said, replace the washers. Alright, so then there's a plug right here. You push this back piece in. Right there. And then it all unplug. I might have cut a few zip ties. Uh, there should be two, one right there, and then one down here that you gotta cut. And then you're gonna take the four bolts loose. And get all the tools. All right, got all the tools. Now this is the scariest part, is breaking these bolts loose. All right, they're tight. Make sure you have a good 12 point, 10 millimeter socket, because if it ain't good, then you can strip out these heads and then that is not fun. Get them out. Just kind of got a little got a little bit on each bolt. So it starts pulling it up. Straight up. See, I can put this somewhere for I can. I didn't hear that. 
grabbing the front loader. Lift it out. Yeah. Sorry about that. I have to use two hands, but the head's off. Make sure you look at the roller, see which one's further down and which one's higher up. Do them one at a time so you know that it's right back where they come out at. Take the spring off. Take the fuel pump in. Good. Alright, so we got our gas started. Got our run back down. Now we're going to torque it. Alright, fuel pumps back in. Just gotta clean it up. New washers. New washers. Things get good. Oh, is that blue? Yeah. Yeah. What color is this? It's green. Green? Good job, buddy. What color is this? Uh, yellow. Yellow. What color is this? Uh, pink. Not uh, pink. Not pink. <laughs> not pink. What color is it? Pink. What color is it? Not, not pink. No, not pink. Blue. Mm. Blue? This is orange. Not orange? Yeah. Love you, dude. Mm. You ready to go eat chicken and then donuts? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.